The Republic of West Florida, the story of an early independent Southern Republic. Southerners have practiced their unalienable right of self-determination several different times, seceding from various central regimes to which they no longer gave their consent to be governed. One of these secessions resulted in the short-lived Republic of West Florida. Like the Confederacy of Southern Republics formed in 1861, this independent country was also invaded and conquered by the U.S. federal government in a clear act of aggression and expansionism. The United States and Spain held long, inconclusive negotiations over the status of West Florida. In the meantime, settlers from the U.S., mostly Southerners, established a foothold in the area and resisted Spanish control. British settlers who had remained also resented Spanish rule, leading to a rebellion in 1810. Born in Virginia, Reuben Kemper and his brothers Nathan and Samuel settled near Baton Rouge, Spanish West Florida, shortly after 1800. Expelled from the province by the Spanish authorities in a dispute over land titles, the Kemper brothers organized a small force in the U.S. Mississippi Territory and returned, declaring West Florida to be independent. They attempted to capture Baton Rouge in 1804, but were defeated, having failed to gain the support of local Anglo-American settlers. The following year, Spanish forces captured all three brothers while on U.S. soil, but they were rescued by U.S. forces as they were being taken down the Mississippi River. In 1810, during the rebellion against Spanish rule by the British and American settlers, who made up the majority of the inhabitants, Reuben Kemper and Joseph White invited the inhabitants of Mobile and Pensacola to join in the revolt. Kemper crossed into the Mississippi Territory, but U.S. forces not wishing to provoke Spain into war and fearing Kemper's intentions arrested him. His colleagues were seized by the Spanish and sent as prisoners to Cuba. In September 1810, rebels overcame the Spanish garrison at Baton Rouge and unfurled the flag of the new republic, a single white star on a blue field. This flag was made by Melissa Johnson, wife of Major Isaac Johnson, the commander of the West Florida Dragoons. It would later become known as the Bonnie Blue Flag. The boundaries of the Republic of West Florida included all territory south of the 31st parallel, west of the Perdido River, and east of the Mississippi River. The southern boundary was the Gulf of Mexico. Despite its name, none of the present-day state of Florida lay within its borders. The capital of the Republic of West Florida was St. Francisville, on a bluff along the Mississippi River. The Constitution of West Florida was similar to the U.S. Constitution with an executive, Senate, and House of Representatives. According to the Constitution, the official name of the Republic was the State of Florida. The first and only chief executive was Fulworth Skipworth, a Virginian and former U.S. diplomat who had helped negotiate the Louisiana Purchase. In his inaugural address, Skipworth mentioned the possibility of annexation to the United States. The marching song of the West Floridian Army included the lyrics, West Florida, that lovely nation, free from king and tyranny, through the world shall be respected for her true love of liberty. On October 27, 1810, parts of West Florida were annexed by proclamation of U.S. President Madison, who claimed the region as part of the Louisiana Territory. At first, Skipwith and the West Florida government were opposed to the proclamation, preferring to negotiate terms to join the Union. However, U.S. federal forces sent to invade West Florida refused to recognize the legitimacy of the independent government. Skipwith proclaimed that he was ready to, quote, die in defense of the Lone Star flag. Ultimately, however, the legislature backed down and agreed to accept U.S. President Madison's proclamation of annexation. Possession was taken of St. Francisville on December 6, 1810, and of Baton Rouge on December 10, 1810. Spain continued to dispute the area, 
though the United States gradually increased the area it occupied until Spain ceded all of Florida to the United States in 1819. The West Florida area remained under U.S. control for 42 years until the southern states of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama seceded in 1861 to form the Confederate States of America. The U.S. again conquered the region, though, and four years later, by force, brought the area back into the Union for the second time. The portions of West Florida now located in Louisiana are known as the Florida Parishes. The Republic of West Florida Historical Museum is located in Jackson. In 1993, the Louisiana State Legislature named Interstate 12, the full length of which is contained in the Florida Parishes, as the Republic of West Florida Parkway. In 2002, Lila Lee Roberts, a great-granddaughter of President Fulworth Skipworth, donated the original copy of the Constitution of the Republic of West Florida and supporting papers to the Louisiana State Archives. In 2010, St. Tammany Parish, Louisiana, celebrated the 200th anniversary of the founding of the Republic of West Florida with speeches of flag raising and historical marker. Now in northern treachery attempts our rights to mar. We hoist on high the bonny blue flag that bears a single star. Hurrah, hurrah, for southern rights, hurrah, hurrah for the bonny blue flag that bears a single star. And here's to our confederacy, strong we are and brave. Like patriots of old, we'll fight our heritage to save. And rather than submit to shame to die, we would prefer. So cheer for the bonny blue flag that bears a single star. Hurrah, hurrah, for southern rights, hurrah. Hurrah for the bonny blue flag that bears a single star. Hey, I'm Jonathan Horslip, Celtic Confederate. If you like Southern Heritage music, be sure to check out my website at www.celticconfederate.com.